Photoshop's workspace can look very confusing and overwhelming. There's so many panels and stuff going on, but don't you worry. You're about to learn how to optimize your workspace in just a few minutes. Once it's open, you can create a new project here. To do that, click the new file button. Now this window will pop up. This is where you can choose the dimensions or the type of preset for your workspace. Now to make things easy, go to film and video and choose the HDTV 1080p workspace. On the right, you can edit your preset details and save it for future projects. When you're done setting up the workspace, click on create. And there you go, you just made your first project. Very nice. This right here is your workspace. You can move it around by holding the space bar on your keyboard and dragging with your mouse. If you want to zoom in and out, simply hold down control and use the scroll wheel. Next, these blue guidelines are enabled by default. You can use them to snap images to, but you'll learn more about that in another video. For now, we don't need them. So to get rid of them, simply hit control plus H to toggle them on or off. So your workspace is very customizable. You can see this as a desk with all your tools on. The tools are the these panels you see everywhere. Just like you can move the tools on your desk, you can move the panels as well by clicking and dragging them. For example, the toolbar and all the other panels as well. But what if you accidentally messed up your workspace and now it looks like this? Now you're trying to fix it by dragging all your panels back into place. Please stop doing that because you can actually do that in one click. Go to the window menu on top and choose workspaces. Click on reset workspace and now it's back to default. Now let's get back to the workspace menu for just a second. Here here you can find other default workspaces from Adobe. They are cool, but if you really want to optimize your workflow, you need to create your own. To do that, close everything you don't need at first. Then rearrange the panels to your desired position. Oh, and you can actually snap them against a border by simply holding until this blue line appears. There you go. Next, we're going to save this as our personal workspace. Go to the window menu and again to workspaces. Now choose new workspace. You can give it a name and then with the capture settings, you can choose what Photoshop will actually save. I like to enable them all. Then click on save and there you go. Now let's put a picture inside Photoshop. You can just do that by dragging it inside like this and you can rescale or position it to your liking. When you're done you can click on done or on the check mark on top or you can also just hit enter on your keyboard. Now if you want to rescale it again hit ctrl plus t. Also with the move tool from the toolbar you can further position the image to your liking. Now let's move on to the layer panel. This is where all your layers, shapes and adjustments will appear. But there's much more to it and if you want to learn everything about layers, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.